Hello, I'm Harriet O'Neill, a justice on the Supreme Court of Texas. I am also the court's liaison to the Texas Access to Justice Foundation and a founding member of the Access to Justice Commission. As a student of the law, you have chosen a noble profession. As a lawyer, you will possess a unique set of skills and values. Those values will make you someone members of your community will turn to for advice and will look to for leadership. Right now, more than five million Texans live in poverty and can't afford basic civil legal services. When I say basic services, I'm talking about securing protection for victims of domestic violence, assisting the elderly and accessing earned and desperately needed medical benefits, helping people wiped out by hurricanes or financial disasters keep a roof over their heads. I'm talking about a lifeline for those who without legal help will slip over the edge. How will you make a difference? I knew from an early age that I wanted to have a voice in the way things are done. Growing up on welfare and having my food stamps denied at convenience stores, I always knew that I wanted to have a voice and I particularly wanted to advocate for the poor. Well, I guess from a young age, I um, knew I wanted to head in this direction. Um, I come from a family of uh, migrant field workers. I, I just knew that was something I wanted to become a part of. I've lived here all my life. I've, I've only been away from the valley for the two years I've, I've been in law school and never before did I know that such there were such big problems around here. I mean it was really eye-opening to see the way that they have been treated thus far with a lot of the practices that are you've taken place especially down here. Three law students from different backgrounds yet united by one common goal a commitment to help assure equal access to justice for those who often can't afford it. The Texas Access to Justice Internship is an opportunity for students to go into the community in rural areas in parts of Texas where there isn't a law school uh, to help with historically underrepresented groups to provide legal services. Working on access to justice issues is incredible work that needs to be done. Before I went to law school, I had worked for a local attorney in Edinburgh, and I did mainly criminal law and personal injury law. So public interest was something that I had no experience with. So this internship was something that I wanted to do in order to really kind of diversify my ex overall legal experience. The program provides a unique opportunity for law students to participate in academic internships with nonprofit providers of civil legal services located in areas without a local law school. The goals are to encourage more students to help address the legal problems of underserved individuals and communities and to educate future attorneys about those problems. This is an opportunity for students to get context to what they're learning in class and to start to give back. A lot of our clients don't have the resources to resolve their legal issues and often they're really simple legal issues. You know, a law clerk uh, like me could spend a couple of hours on and resolve and uh, make the difference between getting a protective order or uh, keeping their house. From American Disabilities Act cases to First Amendment cases to, you know, simple contract and property cases, it's, it's hard to place this internship into one specific area. The kind of cases that appealed to me were the cases where you could really advocate for the underdog. Family law cases with domestic violence, criminal defense cases for the homeless and for people with mental illness, and I actually did a capital punishment clinic and helped to represent people on death row. I do a lot of legal research and writing. Um, I was able to, from very early on, get first-hand experience uh, drafting motions, responses. First chair at a jury trial, I've argued motion in limiting, I've um, bardeered a jury, I've conducted a deposition, and all of this is coming so in handy for the Texas Bar. I think that with this internship, you really get put into the middle of the whole process. I mean, you're doing real legal work, you're really interacting with the community around you, and you're really getting a sense of the issues that, that are affecting these, you know, these smaller areas and it helps to open your eyes to, I think, what being a lawyer is all about. A commitment to providing access to justice for those most in need carries tremendous personal rewards. And there are programs available to offset legal education loans while earning a public interest salary. If you are a law school student and you're considering going into public interest law but think you can't because of student loans, 
you can. Well, I know the file's not upstairs, but I'd like to walk the file upstairs to get them set. Yes, I can talk a lot about how good this work feels and how great it is, but realistically, you do have to live. Um, I have a family, I have um, a husband, and, um, and we do have to have a salary that we can live on. And one of the things that has been really helpful is the loan um, repayment program. The Texas Access to Justice Commission created a loan repayment assistance program in 2003 to encourage and enable recent law school graduates to work for Texas legal aid organizations and to assist legal aid programs in retaining experienced lawyers. Uh, it has allowed me um, to stay here at legal aid to buy a house. I just had a child and we have a really happy life. For practicing attorney Bill Beardall, public interest law can bring great satisfaction. Having done this work for 31 years, the most rewarding part of what I do is that I never have to wonder whether what I've done with my career has been worthwhile. And uh, I wouldn't trade that for all the money I might have made in private practice or all the prestige I might have had in a different private practice. Uh, it's just something that's uh, uh, I, I feel uniquely privileged to have uh, experienced. Bill also shares his knowledge and enthusiasm about his practice through his own internship program for law students. We uh, set them up to be lead counsel on these cases with one of our lawyers serving as second chair. So they get hands-on experience uh, practicing law, learning how litigation works, they're not just learning how law works in general. You could get that in a law firm by clerking in the summer. They're learning how the law impacts the lives of people who, without their help, would not have access to justice in Texas. It's really fulfilling to be able to make a positive difference in these people's lives. The best part of this work for me is the feeling you get when someone says, thank you very much for what you've done for me, for advocating for me, for representing me in court, for for helping me have a voice. It's amazing. These real life experiences you've just seen are what breathe majesty into the law and fulfillment into a career. As you embark on the journey of a lifetime, I encourage you to ask yourself, how can I make a difference? What will be my legacy? By choosing to help those who need it most, by helping to ensure that our courthouse doors are open to all, regardless of income, I promise you a rich and rewarding career in the practice of law. Enjoy every minute.